guys welcome to my tutorial in this tutorial I show you a plug-in based application all what I need is a program an interface and the program is used a lot of or one from these interfaces maybe in a dictionary and an amount of plugins that are used from our program so this is our program with our main method and we have two applications application A and application B and these applications will be implement our plugins and firstly I need a interface called I plug in that's a public interface and provides only one method for its do process every application that provides an interface have to implement this interface um, I mean every application what provides what is provided as a plugin has to implement this interface so I create a class called plugin underscore a it's a public class public class this class has to implement the interface I plug in with our method and I have a private member string value this is plugin underscore a and if the met method is called I write to the console console dot right line up right line the value the same I do in the application B I create a class plug in underscore B and this class implements also the interface I plug in I have here also a static member it's private static string value this is plugin underscore B. So now I have the difference between plugin A and plugin B. If this method is called, I also write the value to the console. Back to our program, I need something that stores all these plugins into a for example a dictionary private static dictionary the key is the name of the of the plugin and the value is the plugin plugins it's a new dictionary and I also need a place where the assemblies are stored private static string path plugin path plugin path and I have a folder and into this folder I have my plugins so I have to take backslashes so Visual Studio can read this perfect so the next is I have start application I have finished application finished application and I need a for each loop in 
plugins plugins dot keys and for each plugin what is inserted into the dictionary I call the method what is provided through the dictionary what is provided through the interface sorry nope. plugins key dot do process yes for every plugin what we have or what is available I call the process do process now I need to load all available assemblies for that I create a separate method static void load plugins and firstly I need a context where the plugins are stored at runtime that's a assembly load context Context assembly load context. Yes, create a new instance, and the instance needs a name. So I iterate through my through my plugin path. get files I take all files what are inside the path with the extension DLL dynamic link library and create a assembly context assembly load context to get an assembly object I can call this context or a method in into in this context called load from assembly path and give the method the path to the assembly as a parameter now I create a plugin or a plugin interface instance for that I can use the activator create instance and the assembly contains all types that are loaded yes and we have only one type that's the i plug in so i take the number zero because i have only one type i cast it to a plugin and i insert into the dictionary plugins the key is for that I take get file name get file name without extension I take the file name without the extension and insert the plugin into the dictionary so yes start the build if I run this program nothing changed because I didn't insert it into my plugins folder the assemblies so I go into the plugin a take my application application a that contains the, the plugin a and insert it into my plugin folder now if I start the method we see nothing changed why is that because I have to rebuild nope nothing changed maybe something is wrong something is wrong key to process now I have to search what is wrong maybe I call the process what do process console right line no that's that's okay 
plugins at to me oh yes I didn't call this method load plugins now I start the program yes you see this is plugin a my method is invoked and now I can insert a second plugin into my folder I take the application B and insert it into the folder now I can invoke the program and you see this is plugin A and this is plugin B so I can dynamically insert it into the folder the plugins what I need and can call it at runtime so that's it I hope you Enjoy it, give me some feedback and see you next time. Bye.